Project Jeff. I have a chap coming along for the glass out of this car and a couple of seals and a couple of other bits. So I'm doing quite a lot of pacing around up and down the yard when I forget my tools. That can be quite time consuming. I mean, I'll show you, I'm just at the car here and uh, my tools and the rest of my other stuff are just up here. And any sensible person would think, well, why not just take all of your tools down there in the first place? Stop you from having to walk around so much. Well, maybe I like walking around. Or maybe I forget what tools I actually need. I don't want to carry a whole load of stuff that I don't need with me, do I? I just want the bits I do need. And often I forget which bits I do need. Anyway, back in the shed where my tools are kept. The only thing is I've forgotten what I've come back for now. That's one of the troubles with uh, you know, talking and walking at the same time. Talking and walking is still multitasking. No one can do it. Right, okay, so I've got what's after. It was just a simple talks bit and I sincerely hope I've got the right one. Otherwise I'll be walking back up here. But then again, I did bring two because I'm fairly sure it's one size or the other. But I thought on, while there, I may as well make a cup of tea. But also, I need my wire cutters and I don't know what I've done with them. The closest I can think of is I possibly put them in one of my other cars the other day um, when I had a job to do at home and I never even got around to doing that job anyway. Um, so, go. Yes, that's where they are. They don't belong in there, but at least I remembered where they was. You see, it's the simple things that make me happy finding a tool in the place I was expecting to find it, even though it's not the right place. It's all good stuff. Happy with that. Anyway, so I've got these bits to take off of this car. Only just considered, really, maybe I should have showed how you get the glass out of the back of one of these. If I can explain it. Once you've got the door card off, you have four 10 mil bolts um, holding on the regulator in these places there. They come off very easily. And then two 10 mil bolts that holds the glass, holds the glass in place. So you can do that and the regulator comes out very easily. But then you've got to remove a couple of other bits before you can get that glass out, including this strip here, which is why I needed the Torx piece. Then you need to move, remove all of this rubber trim around the top of here. Pulling out the trim um, and the, uh, the, the runner so the, gla the glass can actually move about a bit more easily. That should just pop out straight away. That's the two pieces that I wanted. Uh, the glass and a, a trim piece off the car. And now I've got to go back down to the other end of the yard to go and collect my tools. And while I was in there just a second ago, I finished off my cup of tea and it was already cold. It doesn't take long, you know, not when it's cold outside. So when I collect my uh, tools from down here, I'll have to walk back again and go and make another cup of tea. <laughs> I should get back to fixing this, really. I probably prefer a video call with Anton Deck at the moment. No, that's ridiculous. I prefer toothache, that's it. And here is my customer arriving in the yard right now. He collected himself a rather massive stack of bits and drove out a rather happy customer indeed. At least I think he was.